Hey guys, it is Heather with BP for You. Today I just want to show you how to do a bokeh overlay with PicMonkey. The overlay that I'm using is from the 1700 Plus Photo Overlay Collection from BP for You, and I will link that for you as well. The first step is to open your photo. So on PicMonkey, there are two options. You can either use the computer, which will then go and search the photos, or you can drag your image here to edit. I think that one's easier, so I'm going to use that. You'll go into your folder that you have your photo in and click and drag into the square. Once it's in here, you'll have two options. You can give it a name and add it to the collection that you want to. I'm leaving it the same, then you'll hit create. Once you hit create, then it will load your image. So you'll see that we have our image here, and now we want to add in the overlay. So to do that, we'll go back into the folder where our overlays are. We'll click on the overlay, and then we'll drag it into the photo. Now you'll see here, it's a little bit different. There are two squares. You can drop image here to edit, or you can drop image to add to current image. If you add it to edit, then it will completely just switch out for the photo of the girl. If you add it to the current image, it will add it on top. So we're just going to drop it on that box, and then it will come back on. So once it's loaded, you'll see that it has a black background. I find that moving the graphics over here so I can see it is a lot easier. So to get rid of the black background, you're going to come into your blend mode and change it from normal to screen. You'll see here that now all of the black is gone and you just have the overlay with our original photo. In order to get rid of the overlay over the lady, we're going to come over here and click erase. So I usually set my hardness to about 65% around there in that range. And you're just going to come over and brush it off. Yeah. So once you have it brushed off, you may notice that you made a mistake. So I'm just going to take a little patch out here. And it's actually it's really good because it's easy to fix. So all you're going to do is click on the brush, do the same thing, and then brush it back on and it will be right back there. So if you decide that you don't want it quite as much, you're going to come over into adjust and up the fade a little bit. This will just take the overlay off of the image to the exact point that you'd like. And that's everything. Now you have your overlay. Thanks, guys.